Rub up your engines! Alright, you want to know about new cars? Here's a brand new Acura MDX. I'm going to go through the whole thing. For this size SUV, this is the second most popular one in the United States. Only the Lexus in this range sells more models. Now, they're not giving them away. This one was $75,000. And if you saw the video I did the other day of a brand new Hyundai Palisade, the guy got it for $41,500. So there's a big price differential, but of course, you're not getting a Hyundai. You're getting Honda technology with this thing. Now, this is a loaded one. It is a Type S all-wheel drive. But that's kind of a funny story. He didn't particularly want the advanced package and all that. So at one dealer, he ordered just the plain one, right? And it never showed up. So he went to another dealer and they said, hey, I don't know how they ordered one. They didn't make anything but premium ones this year. So <laughs> he road tested this and he liked it and he bought it. And he said the price really wasn't that different than what the other ones were. It wasn't that much of a difference. You know, any way you're looking at these things, you're going to spend 70 something grand if you're going to get a brand new one. Now, if we just look at the style, hey, this blacked out thing, it's, it's a mean looking SUV. You know, it's not just uh, one of these cookie cutter SUVs that everybody's driving around. It's definitely got an attitude to it. And he's an interesting driver because he's worried about people stealing his stuff. So he actually has all of these devices. This is his old device that he's had for years that he hooks up if he sits for any length of time to keep people from stealing the car. Of course, it didn't come with that. <laughs> That's his stuff. But truthfully, if you've watched any of my videos, modern cars, since they have those keyless remote fobs, they can be stolen relatively easy by anybody who knows what they're doing. Now, I'm not a thief, so I don't steal cars, but the equipment that I have to work on cars can be used to steal these things readily. You can just get a generic key. Once you get into the car, by getting the information, if you're standing around with some kind of a receiver, you could get it when somebody opens their door, pushing the button. Once they get into the car, the key that they have, that's a generic key, they can use the machine I have. They can program it to start the car, and away they go. Well, they're going to have a real hard time with that bar on there, right? Those two bars. And basically, it comes down to this. Steve comes by and sees all this crap on the car. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to walk on down to the next car and say, that's too much hassle. Thieves, let's face it, they're lazy people. If they weren't lazy, they'd have jobs like the rest of us, right? They want the easiest money they can get. They see all that stuff, they're just going to walk on to the next one. So, he feels secure, I don't blame him, I'd feel secure in it too. These aren't that popularly stolen vehicles, so not something that you gotta worry about that much. But if you are, get a couple of those, you know, nobody's gonna be stealing your car, that's for sure. Now we'll get down to the nitty gritty, get onto the hood. Got a three liter V6 engine that puts out 355 horsepower, and it's tied into a 10-speed Honda automatic transmission. Yes, this is not one of those stinking CVTs. It's a 10-speed automatic, and you'll see how smooth it is when we road test. It's got plenty of zip, and for a vehicle this heavy, it gets average gas mileage. You'll get mid-20s on the highway when you're driving it around. It's a big, heavy vehicle, realize that. Even the uh, Palisade that I checked out the other day, Hey, that thing did the same thing. It got mid-20s, and it had a lot less. It had about 100 horsepower less than this thing has. Now, these things were made in the United States. I always like the Japanese ones, but you got to face the facts. They've been building these things in Ohio for a really long time. Now, as we look inside, you can see it's conservative luxury. A nice, solid door. Makes a cool sound when you go in Type S. Really nicely laid out. Gigantic armrest, automatic charger for your phone, and check it out. The radio and stuff can be done from here, like a real old radio that people are used to. Not some crazy thing that takes you three hours to figure out. Even the plugs here for USB and for Type C. Hey, they're nice, they're hidden, they come out when you want them. Got a brake hold, and you can turn off the automatic shut off. I would always turn it off, I hate those things. Then that, so you can do many things with it. You can put it in drive, you can shift it yourself. Got these nice little paddle shifters here. Has a gigantic sunroof. Check it out, it's going, going. There it is, big old sunroof. It's got a nice setup here. You can see your speed easily. But check out the backup camera. Check it out, you can push a button to even see it. 
Talk about wide angle. Now, this is the front. There's the top view button. You got the side view and the top view. Choices, you can go comfort, snow, lift. You wanna get a little higher, normal. Or sport. We'll go for sport. And you notice, watch this. Okay, listen. Even the exhaust is louder now. We got a backup camera. It's super wide angle too with the top view. I mean, phenomenal for not running into things. If you're driving a car like this and you run into something, they should take your driver's license away with this kind of assistance. Come on now. You got no excuse running into things. Like I say, you push that button, hey. You get to see the sides too. So you're not gonna run anything, you see both sides. Makes your car look squashy and kind of strange, but you get to see both sides. And when you shut it off, check it out. Ooh, space age. Now this has super comfortable seats, nice black with red trim. It's got even nice seats in the middle, and of course in the back. It's got the seats that are folded down. Now he's got to fold it down for carrying stuff. So if you want to carry eight people, I mean, you can get a loaded Lincoln Navigator for $130,000. That'll hold eight, but really, this is a much more quality vehicle the Acura than the Ford is ever going to be. And for that extra person to pay all that extra money, I mean, you're talking about what, like $60,000? That's freaking insane as far as I'm concerned. Me, I wouldn't even buy, you know, a $70,000 car. I'm still not going to buy a $130,000 one. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's get moving here. And there we go. You can see me going down the driveway from the top and from the back. I love these systems. The first thing you notice, this thing is smooth as can be. And these Honda V6 engines have been around for ever the only thing bad i have to say about them is even though this is 2024 it still has a rubber timing belt <laughs> everybody else has gone to chains right but for some reason honda v6s they never went to chains they still have rubber timing belts now they run perfectly fine but realize it you're supposed to change them every hundred thousand miles because they're interference engines so it's just i don't understand i guess honda was thought they were going to go electric and they're only going to make these for a while so but i mean that's kind of crazy <laughs> normal so we'll change that there now we're at sport oh look at that picture doesn't that look sporty looks like meteors are taking the car <laughs> so here we go to the top of the hill amazing no one's to the left one guy's to the right all right here we go Whee! <laughs> Whee! Plenty of pickup and smooth shifting. It's got 10 speeds. This 10 speed transmission is not like that horrendous Ford GM one that had all kinds of problems. Honda engineers know what they're doing and they decided to get the best gas budge and the best power they could out of these things. So they threw a 10 speed automatic. They could have thrown in one of those dumb CVTs to get a little bit better gas mileage, but hey, you wouldn't have the performance and the reliability that something like this is gonna have advantage of the 10 speed is not only do you get a little bit better gas mileage but it's a pretty fast shifter so you get all the advantages of nice acceleration but still a really smooth drive it doesn't have to overrun the engine so the engine's gonna last longer and of course it's got a heads-up display for the speed too I mean and now we're gonna play a little game that will go to the comfort zone now we're in the comfort zone <laughs> and it's got a smoother ride too. And look, I like the little GPS because it shows the ocean ahead and we are headed right towards my house near the ocean. <laughs> Now, I do have to say, this thing is a lot more fun to drive than that Hyundai Palisade. They both have V6 engines, but the quality of this is infinitely superior. Now, he did pay $34,000 more than the guy did for the Palisade, so because the guy who owned the Palisade, he looked at these and he liked them, but he thought, I think I'll save myself $35,000. Buy the Hyundai and pay for a 120,000 mile warranty. So there you have it, a brand new MDX. I can see 
why it's the second best selling one in this class, only the Lexus sells more. If you've got that kind of money, you know, he did pay 75 grand for this thing because it's the loaded Model S with everything on it. He's happy with the thing. I'd be crying over the price though, you know? <laughs> he paid 10 times more for this car than I paid for every car I've owned for myself, not including my wife's cars, in all those years, I'm 70 years old, so. <laughs> So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.